Hello everyone and welcome to today's tutorial. In this video, I'll walk you step by step through the process of creating and importing an HTTP custom cloud config link. Before we get started, make sure to tap that subscribe button so you don't miss out on more helpful tutorials like this one in the future. Step 1. Install HTTP Custom To begin, open your mobile phone and head over to your Google Play Store or Apple App Store. Once you're in the store, look for the search bar at the top of the screen. Tap on it, type HTTP Custom, and then press the search icon or the Enter key. From the search results, locate the HTTP Custom app. It usually has a blue background with a white icon. Tap on it, and then press the green Install button. Wait for the download to complete, and once installed, tap Open to launch the app for the first time. Step 2. Set up your config file. When the HTTP Custom app opens, you'll be on its home screen. We need to create a configuration file. In this tutorial, I'll be using a UDP config file as an example, but the process is similar for other types. Step 3. Save your config. On the home screen, tap the plus icon located at the top right corner. From the menu that appears, select Save Config. A new screen will open asking you to name your configuration file. Type a name you'll remember, for example, My UDP Config, and then tap Save. Step 4. Install Google Drive. We're going to upload the config file to the cloud, and for that, we'll use Google Drive. If you don't have Google Drive installed yet, head to your Play Store or App Store, search for Google Drive, tap Install, and then open it. Step 5. Access Google Drive. Once you're in Google Drive, you'll see the home screen with your files and folders. To add a new file, tap on the plus icon in the bottom right corner. Step 6. Upload your config file from the menu that appears, select Upload. Your phone's file manager will open. Navigate to the HTTP custom folder. Inside, find the config file you just saved earlier. Tap on it to begin the upload process. Step 7. Edit visibility settings after the file uploads. Locate it in your drive list. Tap the three dots menu in the top right corner of the file preview. Step 8. Manage access. From the menu that appears, scroll down and tap Manage access. Step, step 9. Change general settings under General access. You'll see it's probably set to restricted by default. Tap on it and change it to anyone with the link. This ensures that anyone who has your config link can use it without requesting permission. Step 10. Copy the public link. Once you've changed the settings, tap Copy link. Now. Open your notepad app or any text editor on your phone. Paste the link there. Edit the link if necessary. In this tutorial, you can follow along with the on-screen guide to make sure the link is valid. Once you've finished editing, copy the final link to your clipboard. Step 11, go back to HTTP Custom. Switch back to the HTTP Custom app. Tap the hamburger menu, the three horizontal lines in the top left corner. Step 12, use short URL maker. From the menu, select Short URL Maker. A small box will appear. Paste the edited link you copied earlier into this box. Then tap Generate. The app will create a shortened version of your cloud config link. Step 13. Copy the cloud config link. Once generated, copy this new shortened link. Tap the plus icon again, then select Cloud Config. When the box appears, paste the cloud config link and tap Import. Step 14. Connect to the VPN. Now that your config file has been imported successfully, tap the Start button. Wait a few moments and your VPN connection will be established. And there you have it. You've just created and imported your very own HTTP custom cloud config link. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe so you can stay updated with more easy to follow guides like this one. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.